is Lillian and welcome to this very brand new show of brand new episode of She Talk. I'm sorry. So today's She Talk is going to be a little bit different because we are now not at Green Valley Primary School. Now right now we're at Creatives Climate Cafe and this building is so beautiful and you guys you gotta listen and see we got amazing people and we're going to be listening to what they're saying. Now let's go and listen. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Juliet Grace Luede. My name is Dr. Katie McQuaid. My name is Nasolopis Pisiareste. I'm in primary six and I'm 12 years old. Uh, my name is Kansi Meliz, a student at Chambogo University. Um, I'm in my first year right now. Or oh, you're still a student? Yes, I think I'm your mom. <laughs> um, my name is Agin Shemerire, an activist, human rights and activist, um, humanitarian, human rights defender on kids, uh, girl child, and environment. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about climate change. Are you aware of that? Yes, I am. I am. I'm working on a climate change project. Uh, I was not, but now I am. Yes, very aware of that. I think that's what brought us here, right? So, what, what does the term climate change mean to you? Uh, to me, the term climate change means uh, the change in weather patterns for a prolonged period of time, which in time affects how people react and live. Climate change means to me that everything about our world is changing and it means there's different weather, it means there's different kinds of hazards and it has an impact on every aspect of our life. I think climate change is the change of weather for a long period of time. Okay, so what does climate change mean when I say, like what does the term climate change mean? Oh, according to me, I may not use like the hard, hard English according to what I know. Eh? I think it's a long time, what? Long time shift in temperature and weather conditions, depending on what people are, what we are doing like right now. Yes, I think it's the that. What are the worst effects of climate change? Uh, I think for me, some of the most or the worst effects of climate change would be drought, floods, but then also disease. I've heard, I don't know if it's true that even COVID-19 was as a result of climate change, but then drought is the most common one because places receive sunshine for a prolonged period of time and then areas dry up, but then there's also floods that when it rains a lot, People's homes are washed away, but then also crops as well, so yeah. I think there's effects on the kinds of jobs that we can do. I think there's an impact on our weather, sometimes bringing drought, sometimes bringing too much rain. Uh, but there's also an impact on the sea levels that are rising and somehow bringing flooding to some areas. The worst effects of climate change are floods, drought and famine. The human activities, of course deforestation, burning of, fuel, of fossils, yeah very many different things but majorly right now I guess because of the trees, cutting down trees for industries and different things. Uh, uh, degradation, we have uh, wastage, uh, human, human resources wastages, yeah. Okay. So, what can most creatives like like painters do to fight climate change? Uh, I think painters or creatives like painters can communicate about climate change through their work. If I'm a painter, I can paint, let's say, flooding. I can paint about droughts. In that, when other people see my work as a painter, they're able to relate with it and then ask themselves questions so they can also take action when it comes to climate change issues. 
what can creatives like painters do to fight climate change? I think painters can draw attention to how climate change is really affecting different communities and uh, really raising up the voices that we don't get to hear. So they can say, this is how climate change is affecting the girl child. This is how climate change is affecting women. This is how climate change is affecting families. And they can tell stories that sometimes we don't hear very easily. Um, because right now, we, okay, like the country has different people. There's the youth, there are the, there's um, the old people and everyone. So I guess the only the way we can use, we can really implement, like Claire mentioned, like reducing the effects and all, is talking to people in the language they understand. Someone could love music more so we could go through music and songs to talk to them about climate or you could use paintings of course photography different things according to what people do because people really don't understand in one way you can't just come and talk about it right now people really need something creative like that something that can really draw their attention that's what i think so you can use different languages in photography different things uh mm, planting trees stopping deforestation yeah, we'll stop burning. Yeah, uh, g yes. We have uh, uh, emphasizing people about the the dangers of of uh, destroying the environment. Yeah. So thank you for answering all my questions, and you're looking good and you're so pretty. Thank you so much. May God bless you so much and keep the smile on. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so, what do you do here? Okay. Um, I have an organization. It's called Sway. Sway is Stonewell Women Empowerment Initiative. It's an organization that helps kids, uh, AIDS counseling, environment, environment, fighting environment degradation. Yeah, and we are in the seven districts in Uganda. Yeah, and uh, I work as an admin of the organization. So thank you for answering all my questions. May God bless you so much. So what do you do here? Are you a painter? What like what did? Ah, uh, so I love creatives. I love painters. I love storytellers. So what I'm doing here is I brought all these creatives together so that we can have a conversation about climate change issues and see how we can work together to communicate about climate change. So you're a teacher. Ah. Uh, a teacher is a big word. <laughs> a teacher is a really, really big word. I wouldn't say I'm a teacher. I would say I'm a community gatherer. I bring people together. Okay, that's great. So why? Which other aspects? Are you too wise? I just don't get this. No. So my eyesight is not the best, so that's why I wear this. Yeah, that means you're wise. You read a lot of books. No. I, I wish. I don't like school, so my specs are not because I'm too wise. Yes. So what's your job like here at Creatives Climate Cafe? What do you do? So I'm an anthropologist, which means that I do social research. So I try and understand what are the impacts of climate change on different people, and I'm particularly interested in gender. Okay, thank you for answering all my questions. May God bless you so much. Thank you for being an excellent interviewer. It's my honor to be interviewed today. Thank you so much. Actually, I knew nothing about climate change. So I think I know something. Yes, yeah. I was like you, by the way. I was once young, so I didn't know nothing. But as time goes on, like this is the life, this is the world we live in and all. So I so good to know it because of the different things I've attended. Yeah, and of course my geography. Okay, thank you so much for answering all my questions and you look good. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you very much Lillian for having me on your show. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I think this marks the end of this show and I, I hope we've learned what climate change is and the worst effects of climate change. So um, I think don't forget to subscribe and like this video and if you've learned something you gotta tell your friend your sister your brother anybody and they could know what you've learned today 
Don't forget to subscribe again and like this video. I'm still Lillian. I love you all. Bye.